Hi everyone, um, this is Miss Katya and this week we're learning about circus. So I just wanted to show you some beautiful paintings by very famous artists that are about the circus. And then we're gonna make some art projects. So this painting is very beautiful and it's made by Chagall, a very famous artist who was born in Russia. Um, so this is about circus and you can see most circuses have a circular stage that looks like a circle. And you can see some of the audience sitting around it. You see lots and lots of people, but you also see some performers, like a girl riding a horse, maybe a, a guy playing some instruments, but there's a horse playing a flute maybe, and there are lots of acrobats. Uh, they do tricks, they're like, athletes that jump around, do very complicated, interesting tricks in the air with jumping, turning around, standing on their heads. I see some more musicians. We also see lots of very bright, interesting colors, right? Yellow and blue and red together. And um, this also doesn't seem like a very real painting, right? It's the way that we're looking at it, the way people are placed, the way the animals are also performing, playing a flute, and the way that people are very different in size and animals are very different in size. Some are very large, some are very small. Makes this painting look a little bit like a dream. So there's another painting by Chagall. It's a little smaller. The colors are maybe not so bright, lots of yellow, pink, and blue. There's also a girl riding a horse, a guy, maybe a clown with flowers, more musicians, more athletes, another musician, an audience, and a circular stage. It's also a very beautiful, bright painting. So, and here's one more. Again, we see interesting animals, we see acrobats, we see musicians, animals flying around, even a fish playing drums maybe. So this seems very dreamlike, very interesting. Again, lots of very bright colors. And let's move on. This is a beautiful painting by a French artist named Seurat, and it's all done using little tiny dots. So he painted in a similar way that we also painted before. We painted using Q-tips that leaves little tiny circle marks. So that's how he painted too. I don't think he used Q-tips. I think he used paint, um, paint brushes, but it's a similar idea using colorful circle, circles to make a painting. And again, we see audience, we see a musician, maybe they're also musicians. So it's very interesting and lots of very beautiful colors. And here's another painting by him. Again, girl riding a horse, lots of people in action on a circular stage and audience. And again, lots of very, very bright colors, yellow, red, white, a little bit of blue. And here's another artist, he's very, very famous. His name is Picasso, and he's a Spanish artist. And this is one of my favorites. It has a lot of pinks and blues. And I think it's a, a girl practicing a circus trick, maybe standing on a bowl, balancing on a bowl. And she's probably one of the circus workers. And there's a guy sitting near i think he's some kind of an athlete you can see he's very strong so it's a very beautiful painting with very beautiful colors and here's another painting by picasso you see um lots of pink and blue but also uh you see red here now and it's two people dressed sort of similarly and they're called harlequins they're also a kind of clown or a mime, but often they play sad, um, sad clown. So 
they have an interesting part in the circus. So that concludes my artworks for circus and so we're going to pause and then we're going to continue by making some art projects about circus. So first I wanted to make a circus garland because circus is a very bright place so we want to really decorate it and make it bright and colorful. So for this first project we're going to need some construction paper, a pencil, some scissors, and some crayons or you can use paint and uh, so first we're going to draw a triangle and we're going to cut it out so try to make maybe the size of your two palms mine, mine are bigger so something like this and then you cut it out and this is like a little slice of pizza and then you fold it over like this, just a little bit. And then I forgot, you're gonna need some glue stick. So I'm gonna put glue stick over here. And then we're gonna use our string. And so you're gonna put it like this. Mine is a little curly, so it's gonna be a little harder. So you're gonna put it like this, fold it over so it's gonna stay inside your little triangle and now you can decorate it you can paint it or you can color it with crayons you can give it some any kind of patterns you like like you can give it stripes you can give it little dots use different colors and i would say make at least five triangles like this so you get like a little garland that you can hang up and it has several triangles attached to it and look this one has rainbows on it so it starts with red orange yellow green light blue dark blue and purple so you can really draw anything you want in your circle you can even do it on both sides to make it even brighter and as I said, make as many as you can, as many as will fit on your string. So it will be really bright and colorful. Also, you can use different shapes. You can do a circle and fold it over in half, but I like triangles the best. I think it's the best shape for circus decorations. So we made a circus garland that you can hang up in your room. And I hope you can choose different colors, maybe for each triangle, different patterns, and think of the string you want to use. Maybe that can be a very bright color. So let's make another project. So next we're going to make a clown and we're going to need just some white paper, scissors, pencil, um, glue stick, some crayons and some construction paper. And actually something that we can trace, like a circle that we can trace. It's not too big, kind of like mine. Make sure it's clean. Like I just found a jar lead. That's what I'm going to use. So just going to trace it. Pick it up. And now we can draw a clown's face. So every clown that I've seen has a big red nose. color that in and a big red smile right so you can even make it bigger and so it needs some eyes I guess he needs some eyes some eyes some eyelashes some eyebrows and next we're gonna make some hair and we can use orange construction paper and cut it into small strips, kind of like this. And then we're gonna use glue stick and try and just put some glue on top of his head and try and see how we can arrange it. So maybe we'll give him some on the sides, some bangs maybe. 
see how much we can fit here. And we can make them a little shorter because they may be a little too long. Give it a little haircut. So, and you can always add a little more later if you decide to like, it needs more hair or he needs less hair. You can probably take it off if it's still not dry. So just a few more hairs. And then I think he needs a hat. Not all clowns have hats, but I think a lot of them do. So here's his funny red hair. I'm going to make a hat just by cutting out a triangle from my construction paper. I'm going to put it on top. So I'm also going to put some glue on my hat. So. Some glue transferred it around. So here's his hat. And if you have something to decorate it, you can draw some patterns on its hat. You know, remember circus is all about colors and patterns and making things as bright as you can. So we can we can do some stripes, some zigzag lines, maybe even put something on top of his hat, or maybe do like little little things like this like little strings coming off and now i think we just need to give him some like a shirt or something let's use green because it's going to be really bright I'm just gonna do this and then maybe color it in he can do better i'm sure than i am doing so this is his shirt we can even give him some, I don't know, some rosy chicks. Color him in a little more if you want to. Just have fun and make him really bright and happy. Happy bright clown. So let's let's do another project. And next we're gonna make uh, some cotton candy. We're gonna need some white paper, some construction paper, some paint, any paint you have, crayons, glue stick, scissors, some cotton balls, and q-tips. So let's start by making a cotton candy cone, something that you put your cotton candy into. So we're going to use construction paper and cut out another triangle. So And it doesn't have to be perfect. Here's our triangle. We're going to glue it at the bottom of our paper bottom and the middle so I'm just gonna put some glue I'm gonna put it over here and now we can use some paint any colors you want I'm gonna use pink and maybe blue and use my cotton ball but um, don't dip it too much into your paint just a little bit is enough so I'm just gonna put a little bit and just go and try and make like a, a big puffy circle and fill it in. So maybe I need a little more paint. So going all over. So that makes it kind of soft and puffy like cotton candy that you can get when you go see something at a circus. And maybe I'll use another color, maybe blue, just to give it a little more color. So I'm going to use a very light baby blue. So again, just a little bit to start with. And you can use the same cotton ball. So using your cotton ball to make cotton candy. And you can keep going, make it a little bigger. Use other colors if you want to. You can add some purple or any color that you want any color that you think will taste good we can also decorate our cone a little just to make it more fun maybe give it some stripes make it look like a something delicious and then we can also when this dries a little we can use a q-tip 
and give it like little sprinkles of other colors just because you know it's a it's a magical cotton candy it doesn't have to be real and it's just more fun to use more colors and more textures on it let me just open my paint it's hard to open so i'm gonna use this q-tip i'm gonna get some paint and just go around and make it just a little more delicious so now it has like a little bit of sprinkles and it's even more delicious so we've made some circus garlands we've made a clown and now we have cotton candy so we have like a full set of circus essentials i hope you're gonna like this art project and i'll see you next week bye guys